this uh, video segment relates to the study of uh, bubble mass area in the hypochondrial region, right upper abdominal quadrant and hypochondrial region as well. And you can see that uh, Now, this is the bubble mass, this area, typical appearance, this is the bubble wall. The wall measures 8.8 .8 millimeters, normal should not exceed more than 5, okay, and uh, this uh, bubble mass measures in this direction, in transfer section, 6.1 centimeters by 4.8 centimeters. There is another, this uh, well demarcated hypochoic area, and this is the lymph node. This is an enlarged lymph node at the region of uh, porta hepatitis, uh, or we can say this is a regional adenopathy uh, uh, along the bowel segment medial wall of the bubble segment. This, this is the crack, lumen of the bubble which is collapsed with air in it. However, the wall is regular in outline. Irregularity is not seen. What are these tubular structures? These tubular structures. This tubular structure, this tubular structure. Now this is an area of the port ruin and uh, this is uh, in fact the cavernous transformation of the portal vein as uh, here when I enter the liver to see the gallbladder here it is here you can see that it proceeds downwards immediately as well and this is a typical picture of cavernous transformation or recanalization of the portal vein. Now, this is this area. Tubular structures are seen, serpentinous shape. These tubular structures are all uh, uh, recanalization of the portal vein or cavernous transformation of the portal vein. This is the portal vein in the uh, region of the porta hepatis. This is the bowel mass in the study. And this is the gallbladder. Gallbladder is normal. The liver is both fatty. So there is cavernous transformation of the portal vein and uh, along with because uh, the intrahepatic bile ducts, if you follow them, they are also dilated. area with cavernous transformation of the portal vein we see intrahepatic bile duct aphasia as well now this is these are the dilated intrahepatic bile ducts these are dilated intrahepatic bile ducts and these are dilated because of the dilated common bile duct here we see the 
quota hepatic region in which we see three vessels, uh, sorry, three, uh, one duct, one vein, one duct. Now this is the portal vein, this is the hepatic artery in terms of section, and this is the common bile duct. The common bile duct measures 8.6 millimeter, and this is the upper limit. Uh, it is dilated. It should not exceed more than 7 with intact gall bladder. So these are dilated bile ducts. In the fatty river, this is the common bile duct that runs in anterior to the portal vein. This is the portal vein, and this area, cystic area, is the hepatic artery. In transfer section at the region of the porta hepatis. So, common bile duct measuring at 0.6 millimeters, normal being 7 millimeters with intact gallbladder and with uh, dilated bile ducts uh, is what we have seen so far along with the bowel mass in the region of the right hypochondrium. This is the bowel mass. Again, now we, I'm reverting back to the bowel mass and you see this is the gallbladder, very close to it. This is the enlarged lymph node, and these are the vessels, tubular vascular structures. This is the bowel mass in the region of the right hypochondrium. Here, if you see that the pancreas, this area is this white band of tissue with the pancreas, which is uh, normal. This is the clinic artery, not vein. Now this is the saplenic vein, this is the saplenic vein, the pancreas and we do see another well demarcated area, this area, hypochoic well demarcated area measuring approximately 25 millimeters by 23 millimeters and this is in fact, an enlarged lymph node. These are the bubbles. This is the bubble, stomach gas bubble. And these are the shadows from the bubble. So there is uh, adenopathy. One is in the parapancreatic region. This one. Pancreas, saphenic vein. This is the lymph node, enlarged lymph node. Here is the second one. A little image optimization. Now if you see, if you follow this uh, segment in longitudinal section, you will see that uh, it's lumen. Here there is gap. It, in fact, this is the longitudinal section. It's measuring approximately 12 into 5, I would say, 12 into 5 centimeters. This is the lumen with gas, this wide area, bright area. And if you see that this bright area is continuous with the lumen, this is the empty lumen, this cystic structure, longitudinal tubular structure. This is the lumen, and in this part of the lumen we see collapsed lumen with trapped uh, air in it. These are, this is air trapped in the lumen, and this is the wall of the bowel. This is the wall of the bowel. This is the wall. This is the wall. Bowel wall. So this is a case study with bubble matter.
I am seeing this uh, mash by placing the probe in this subposter region in this air. Here I am seeing the mass in transfer section and here I see in raw material section. Okay, in the region of the right hypochondrium. And uh, this is where I have the pancreas with a lymph node. And uh, this is the area where the lymph node is present along with the bowel mass. When I maneuver the probe in this direction, I, I do see Governor's transformation of the portal vein in this direction, and along with it, I see a small tiny particle within the uh, common bile duct, the gallbladder. Here I am seeing the gallbladder, and with this maneuvering, I am following the uh, cavernous transformation of the portal vein. When I move further, upwards and laterally, downwards, I see intrahepatic bile bacteria. So this is, uh, these are my scanning plans. Let's see it once again. This is the bowel mass in transfer section. Clearly seen with shadowing of this human flat human. This is the wall. In transfer section, this is the longitudinal section of the bowel mass with trapped air in its lumen. And here is the pancreas with the lymph node. This is the pancreas and uh, this is the lymph node. This is the bowel mass and this is the lymph node adjacent to it on the, along its medial border in the right hypochondrium. Now here we enter the uh, subphosphor region and if you see there is, this is the portal vein. Up to here it's patent, it's okay, it's normal in size, 6.7. But this area this area is the common bile duct which measures 9.4 millimeters, 7 being normal, this is more than expected and this is an ecogenic area within the lumen of the uh, common bile duct. This is the lower bladder, clear lumen. This is the cavernous transformation of the portal vein because from here onward you will not see the uh, portal vein and the subtranties as separate entities. Rather they are merged together. And when I move, now I am moving downwards further, laterally, and here I see the dilated bilateral in the posterior segment of the right lobe. These are the dilated bilateral. But this area, This area is what we call as the cavernous transformation of the portal vein. Yeah. The liver is fatty. This is the cavernous transformation of the portal vein. Tubular structure you can see. Yeah. At this level the portal vein is seen as a separate entity. Okay. This is the left lobe of the labor in transfer section. Lambasala Akisaro flow. Labor being fatty, we see blurred vessel margins. Okay. Labor is seen below postal margin. Now 
Now this is uh, an ultrasound with patient in left lateral distributus posture showing that the portal vein is patent up to this level and from here this is the extra hepatic port. Now when I enter the uh, postal space I see this picture. There is the portal vein gone. It continues with the awareness transformation. So this is our case of the day. Here we see the cavernous transformation, portal veins, common bile duct, gallbladder, fatty liver, and uh, we can see that the CBD is dilated with intact gallbladder measures more than 7 millimeters, measures 9.1 millimeters. Thank you.